In this video, I will show you another example of super mesh analysis. Using mesh analysis, find the current through 8 ohm resistor in the following circuit. See, this is our given circuit. In this circuit, we have to calculate the current through this 8 ohm resistor. Okay. If we want to apply mesh analysis in this circuit, we will see that there are two current sources. One is this 8 ampere current source and another is this 3 ampere current source. When two meshes share a common current source, we cannot use mesh analysis. Rather than we have to apply super mesh analysis. So although we are asked to calculate the current using mesh analysis and super mesh is one kind of mesh analysis, we can still apply super mesh analysis to solve this circuit. Okay. Before going to the circuit solution, let me show you the simulation of this circuit. Now look at the circuit. I set the circuit in a simulator and in the circuit I have to calculate the current through this 8 ohm resistor. Now look at the simulator. You will see if I simulate the circuit, the current that is flowing through this 8 ohm resistor will be 5 to 6 milliampere or 0 0.5 to 6 ampere or 0 0.53 ampere and the current that is flowing through this 8 ohm resistor is flowing from left towards right direction or in the direction indicated by this arrow sign okay now let me solve this circuit at first i will identify the meshes in this circuit let's say this is our a terminal this a b c a this will indicate our mesh number one. A, C, D, D, A. A, C, D, A. This will indicate mesh number two. C, B, let's say E, D C C B E D C this will indicate mesh number 3 after identifying the meshes in the network I will assign mesh current in each of the mesh let's say in mesh number 1 the current that is flowing is I1 and we have to assign the mesh current in clockwise direction. In mesh number 2, the current that is flowing th through this mesh is I2. The current that is flowing through mesh number 3 is I3. We are indicating the mesh currents in the clockwise direction. Okay. After assigning mesh currents in this circuit, I will assign the polarity of the resistors. See, I2 is entering through this 4 ohm resistor from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative i2 is entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative and i1 is entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative i1 is entering from this direction in this 8 ohm resistor so this will be positive and this will be negative i3 is entering from this direction okay so this side will be positive and this side will be negative in case of this 1 ohm resistor i1 is entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative we are indicating polarity like this if i have a resistor r here if a current i is entering from this direction and leaving the resistor in this direction the side from which it is entering will be positive and the side from which it is leaving will be negative okay Okay, now let me solve this circuit. Look at mesh number one. You will see the mesh current I1 is the current that is flowing through the AB path. I1 is the current that is flowing through AB path. Okay, I1 is the current that is flowing through this AB path. Now see, in this AB path, we have this 8 ampere current source. And this 8 ampere current source will indicate the mesh current I1 because we are indicating I1 as the current flow 
at through the AB path which is indicated by this 8 ampere current source so in this circuit we will have I1 equal to 8 ampere let's say this is our equation number 1 after indicating I1 let me identify the super mesh in this network okay uh, to indicate the super mesh at first we have to mentally remove the current sources from the circuit okay and we know that super mesh is formed by those two meshes which share a common current source and here between mesh number two and mesh number three we have this common current source of three ampere therefore after removing the current source of this three ampere we will see that mesh two and mesh three will form the super mesh in this network and mesh number one will not be included in the super mesh okay now let me mentally remove the current sources and between mesh number two and mesh number three after removing the current sources i will get our super mesh and mesh number one will be outside of the super mesh and the super mesh will be formed by merging mesh two and mesh three and the region under this shaded rectangle will be our super mesh after indicating the super mesh we will apply kcl or kishok's current law at that node in which the current source that is shared by the two meshes is connected see here before mentally removing the current source we have the current source of 3 ampere that was connected here and that was supplying the current in this direction that means due to this common current source we have a current of 3 ampere entering at node c see from this direction we have the current i2 entering at node c and we have the current i3 leaving the node c so if we apply kcl here the shop's current law i will get the current i2 is entering and 3 ampere entering and i3 is leaving so from here i will get i2 minus i3 equal to minus 3 this will be our equation number 2 after that i will apply kishop's voltage law at the super mesh that means i will apply kishop's voltage law in this loop a c b e d d a the super mesh is formed by the loop a c b e d a okay now see from this d to this point i will see this 20 volt source and its negative terminal first positive terminal later so its voltage will be positive plus 20 after that i will see this 4 ohm resistor and its positive terminal first negative terminal later the current that is flowing through this 4 ohm resistor is i2 so i will apply ohm's law minus i2 into 4 after that i will see this 6 ohm resistor i1 will be flowing in this direction and i2 will be flowing in this direction as i am applying kvl in the super mesh so i will assume i2 is greater than i1 so here i will see positive terminal first and negative terminal later inside the super mesh so i will write i2 minus i1 into or multiplied by 6 after that i will see this 8 ohm and i3 is entering in this direction and 
i1 is entering in this direction as i3 and i1 are flowing in opposite direction and i am entering positive terminal first negative terminal later inside the super mesh i will write minus i3 minus i1 into 8 after that i will see this one home register its positive terminal first negative terminal later so i3 into 1 this will be equal to 0 because there are no other element from which i can write down Twenty minus four I two minus six I two plus six I one minus eight I three plus eight I one minus I three equal to zero. From which I can write. 20 minus 10 i 2 plus 14 i 1 minus 9 i 3 equal to 0 this will give us 10 i 2 plus 9 i 3 equal to 20 plus 14 i1 and from equation number one we know that i1 is equal to 8 ampere so if i put the value of i1 equal to 8 ampere i will get 132 so this will be our equation number 3 10 i2 plus 9 i3 is equal to 132 this will be equation number 3 and from equation number 2 we get i2 minus i3 is equal to minus 3 so if i solve the equation number 2 and equation number 3 i will get i2 equal to 5.53 ampere and i3 is equal to 8.53 ampere okay now look at the original circuit in this circuit i1 is equal to 8 ampere and that 8 ampere was flowing in this direction okay and i3 is equal to 8.53 ampere and it was flowing in this direction okay now see what will be the current through 8 ohm resistor it will be equal to i3 minus i1 as i3 is greater than i1 i through 8 ohm will be in this direction and that will be equal to 0 0.53 ampere and this result is similar to the result i have shown you in the simulation okay that's it thank you